Right, I've got a super disorganized video for you guys today. I've actually not got any of my camera gear. I'm not prepared for anything. So I'm gonna do a bit of work on this. I was actually meant to do the MR2 lights, but I ain't got time to do it. So I'm gonna do the lock on this. The central locking's playing up. Let's have a quick look at those lights actually. I'll show you what I was doing. In this cupboard, I've got some facelift headlights. I'm trying to make those a bit better. I'll just show you guys quickly what I've been doing just to, just to wet your appetite a little bit. There's one that I've started working on. It's not quite finished yet. And we'll get back onto those soon. Right, back to this Volkswagen. Right, what's happening is this driver's door's not unlocking, unlocking properly. It does sometimes. Uh, a lot of the problems with these normally is under the seat, there's a control box and there's a, an earth wire that corrodes. But on this, it's not. It's actually the, the lock mechanism inside the door. It sometimes works, it sometimes doesn't. If I lock it off the key, it's locked over the other side, but this side's not locked. I can use the key in the door and it locks it. Look. Unlocking's the same. It literally doesn't do much. Sometimes it works though. There's a second hand lock off of eBay. I bought a second hand one because on eBay you can get the cheap ones for about 25 quid. This was 25 quid the same, but I've heard from those cheap ones that after they, they just break and deadlock themselves. This is a genuine Volkswagen one, so this, this should be better. Hopefully it works. If you guys are watching this video, then it, it worked. So we'll, we need to change this and get this on. What we'd do is we, we'd go through and do a video of how I do it, because I've noticed on YouTube, there's, there's no actual videos about how you change it. First thing we wanna do is take off this trim. So I need to take off this handle here. This this normally just clips off, but as you can see on mine, I've put a little screw in it to hold it on there because it kept falling off. So I'll get that off. That's how they normally come off. They just clip off like that. And then inside there, we've got two screws. I've not got a tripod or anything for this. I'm filming it on my phone, so it might be a bit difficult at times. We'll manage. Right, once you've got those screws undone, you can see there's some some little tabs there. So get a screwdriver in and just prise it up like that so it unclips. And then you can just pull it out. And there's a screw in there. There's some more underneath there. These are all T20 Torx bits. So I'll get that and then I'll undo those screws under there and that one there. I'll use this little T20. Right, once all they're off, this will start to pull away. This has got some little clips behind it that, that clip in. They're a bit of a pain. Most of mine have already broke off because I've had this off a few times before. So I'm not sure if you can actually get those off without breaking them. Not. You'll just have to have a play with that. Should just pull off now and lift up. See if I can put the camera somewhere useful. Right, on the back of the door, you've got a few wires and there's this one cable going through to the handle here. Uh, the one for the LED. We'll just press that and unclip it. The one for the handle, see if I can do this with, because it's a bit of a two-handed job. Right, what you need to do is unclip that little sleeve, pull it back and it comes off. And then it'll allow you to unhook that metal bit there. I need to put the camera down while I do it because I've only got two hands. Right, same with all the plugs for the electric windows. Press in the little tab and unplug. Just like that. Unplug the other two as well. What I've done is I've, I've unclipped this electric window module. It just unclips out the top, you can push it out. And then I've plugged all the cables back into it because we, we need to move these electric windows. Because the next job is we've got to get this metal plate off here. Right, so if I turn the ignition on, and then if you see these two holes here, I'll bring the window down, and as it's going up and down, look, 
you can see stop it about that far down from the top and you'll see these holes match up to some bolts there they're a 10 mil bolt right so all i do is i'll just loosen them off don't take them all the way out just give them a few turns it's like a clamp that clamps onto the glass so you just you just need to loosen the clamp and then i'll put the window back up turn off the ignition right, i'm not sure if this is the right way to do it but this is how i've done it anyway i've just used some masking tape and just wrapped it from the outside to the inside holding onto the glass so the glass doesn't fall i turn the ignition back on bring down the window you can see the glass is still in one place and the mechanism's moved out of the way that's now released from the glass next thing we need to take all these bolts out they're m10 10 mil bolts this literally just pulls off now right, before it'll come all the way off we need to pull this out back through the hole looking down there you can see that cable disappearing that's the electric that goes into the lock so i'm going to reach behind press a little tab and unplug it we'll have a look where that plugs into in a minute i'll show you i'm just going to leave that down like that because i don't need it all the way out it's got the wires going in the other side there look for all the speaker and everything i don't need it all off i've got the access what i want here right this bit what i do is i literally just push that rubber through just so it's all nice and loose and this is all loose now right out to the outside we need to get this cap off mine might come off because i've had it off a few times now oh, there it is that just pulls off it unclips it's probably got some little clips that hold it on which is why mine sometimes falls off and then it exposes the lock we need to get the lock out right to do that this bit of rubber here take that rubber bung out now right down that hole is a t20 torx bit so we just need to undo that we don't need to undo it all the way just undo it some then try wiggling this out if it don't come out undo it a little bit more and eventually you'll undo it enough so this will come out don't worry if it comes all the way out it like falls into a little gap so you can push it back up again and get it back into place if you're using screwdrivers and stuff be careful because you don't want to scratch your paint i'll just give it a little wiggle just to get it started just be careful with your paint if you're doing this. I'm pushing it against this little plastic trim there, look. There you are. That's the lock barrel out. Next job, we need to release this cable from this handle. So if you just put a screwdriver behind there, this is difficult looking through a camera to do it, and just poke it out. It pops out like that, and then this this handle's loose then and the lock mechanism's released from the handle next job is these two bolts here these are on spline 12 point spline this is a number eight spline bit so we just need to undo those and take them out watch them when you get it all the way out because this lock will drop so what you need to do is put your hand around and hold it and take these bolts out then we should be able to pull the lock out of the way Oh, there's mine there's a new one so i've got to transfer this cable across this literally just get a screwdriver under there and just prise it up i'll do it in a second you can turn that 90 degrees and just pull it out like that so then it's just a case i'll take it over i'll plug it in let's have a look see if it works right, i want to see if it works first so what i've done is i've plugged it in if we push this down that'll emulate the door being closed and then let's see if the central locking works i can press the lock on here and try it right because i've pushed that down it thinks the door's closed so i should be able to lock it now with the remote and it works so now we'll put it back together it's literally the opposite of what we've just done so i'll set the camera down somewhere i'll stick it on a time lapse and I'll see you when it's back together. When you're putting this clip back in, don't pull it, just take up the slack and just push it in. It'll clip up. Right, 
Right, when you get back to this stage, what I do, I don't know if it's the right way of doing it. Turn the ignition on, lift the window mechanism up, remove the tape, then bring the window back down so you can see the bolts in the holes. I'll just do it a bit at a time to make sure the window actually keeps up with it. There we can see the bolts there. Then what I do is I grab the window. You can see you can wobble it. I'll hold it back so it's tight up against the back and then I'll tighten those bolts up there. Right, I'll unplug that control from there and I'll turn the ignition off. Put that trim back on. Now, one thing I will try before I actually close the door and realize I can't open it is I put the screwdriver in there, push the latch over, then pull the handle to make sure it actually unlocks. Perfect. Right, so the next obvious check. We'll close the door, try and lock it. And we locked. And we unlocked. Perfect, that's another job off the list. So that's my door working. I thought I'd do a video on that because I had a look around YouTube and nobody actually does a full video of the entire thing, how to change it. So I hope that helps out a few people. Next job we're gonna do in here, we had loads of comments on it. I'm gonna get rid of those orange bits. I'm gonna change those, don't know yet. I might even carbon hydro dip them. I've done it before on the MR2, so I might do that. Don't know yet, I'll decide later, but that will be the next job on this Volkswagen, hopefully. I'll be doing those MR2 lights. I've been meaning to do them for a few weeks now, but they're gonna look awesome, hopefully. So if you're not subscribed to the channel, don't forget to subscribe, because we're gonna do the MR2 some more. We'll do some more jobs on this T5. Like the video, because that helps loads. And I'll catch you guys later in the next video. Cheers. Cheers.